Not a basketball game to react to. Thought it was going to be fun for a minute, and then it took a weird turn. Pacers at Celtics, game two. They're up, of course, to nothing. 126-110 uh, final. First game two win in these here playoffs, y'all. Brown, <laughs> 40 points, five rebounds. Tatum finished with 23, six and five. Siakam had 28, and Halliburton finished with 10, and then left the game in the third with a hamstring situation. We'll get to that. Um, but this was the day after Jalen Brown was snubbed from making any all NBA team, and then he gets 40. So I'm not going to say it's a coincidence. I'm going to say that's legit. Yeah, and we talked about this yesterday. If there was one person that probably got snubbed the most, it's him. You can't be the second best, arguably the first best, on a lot of nights and not be rewarded for one of these teams. And it's just like, obviously, he's fine financially. He's got one of the bigger deals in the NBA. But yes, the fact he that he's now not eligible for a super max when he does deserve to be on one of these teams, it's tough, and he came out last night, and he clearly looked motivated, and, and he was aggressive, he was physical, he got to his spots, and this is the type of Jalen Brown that the Celtics need because it doesn't just have to be Jason. They don't have to. They don't have to do this back and forth. When it's both of them, and they're both being aggressive, you can't guard. You can't guard them. There's different coverages. They can post up. They can get out in transition. So this version of Jalen Brown makes the Celtics even that much better. <sighs> they pissed him off, Lou. Okay, so then here's the problem, right? And I don't know if this will ever happen, but. Do we need to change the voting process? Do we need to? Well, just to be clear, he, he got his Supermax last summer. But I'm saying, he like, as far as He wasn't eligible for just... anymore. Oh, he that wasn't was one of the guys that, that was it. it wasn't like a Halliburton. Halliburton like was, Anthony Edwards was. Do you think that's why it. they didn't vote him on an all Jamal Murray was, Darren Fox was. Got it, were. got it, got it. Do you think um, the media thought that and thought, well, we can help someone else out? Well, I mean, there's no way. Stupid. Yeah, that like, doesn't look yeah, like basketball, mean, or you count my money. Yeah, that makes them look crazy. yeah, I shouldn't yeah that's know. not fair. Like that, that, that shouldn't be. That I think way you either. make the best decision. You know, I, I assume most media. I think the large majority of the media does try to make the best decision that they have in their mind. You think so? <laughs> some, I mean, some probably don't, but I'm just saying. Just I feel like most do. Most do. They might do be wrong. Do you not? Do you not think so? Well, I mean, when this Sabonis guy, if that stuff comes out, it's like clearly that guy's not just honestly voting for the best guy for the, that team. He's this is the this is bias. This is, is his for like so like again, and, yeah. and that one's so obvious. He got caught because it does, his votes didn't even make sense. But there's got to be more of that somewhere else with other voters. There, it's all it's all public. Like you can put it all. I mean, I know what Kendrick yeah. voted. Like everybody. Yeah, like kinda, Kendrick not putting Brandon Miller on on. Uh, the, the all rookie, like that's some sort of animosity he has towards him. So there is a fine line of how honest, how real are these votes, and how I, accurate are they? I just think we're, I think we're human. I think the system is flawed. I don't think you get the players involved because half of the players are going to vote um, favorably to their peers. Half of them not going to vote at all. That's just the reality of it. If you're on vacation right now and you're on the Detroit Pistons or one of those <laughs> teams, I don't care who's the MVP. I don't care who's the defensive player of the year. I don't care who's eligible for a super max and who needs to be on. I don't care. I'm, I'm on my personal time. That's where it gets tricky with the players. Where it gets tricky with the media is you take somebody like Chandler and myself, for example, if I'm saying SGA is the MVP all year, He's saying Jokic is the MVP all year. We both want to sound like we're smart. We both want to yeah. sound like we understand what's going on. So we're going to do whatever it takes for the circumstances to fit our narratives. And I think that's where it gets tricky with the media. Like the gentleman that voted, voted, voted some bonus <laughs> for everything. He probably said something preseason that was favorable to Sabonis, and he wanted to make sure his take looked like it was an accurate take. And that's where I think this system is broken. And then as a player, too, like, I remember when you had to vote for, like, these awards. I, would, I would just, or you didn't do it, or you just voted for your voted teammates. For your, for your teammates. Like, or, your, or your boys. Like, yeah. Or like, yeah, or yourself. So it's like, how how do we get a real What about accurate, executives or coaches or assistants? I like, feel what? like that makes more sense. But again, they're also biased. They're biased towards who their yeah. guys. They're biased to guys that they might want possibly in free agency later. So, and then with players, too, like, can you imagine, like, like, Draymond Green, he's not going to vote for like Rudy Gobert or Nurkic. He doesn't like them. So like there's Great there's point. these personal relationships too that affect the actual real votes. The Jalen Brown one though is like the Lakers had two blowing. players. This one is and just this one doesn't make sense. This one he makes deserves no sense. it more than a lot of those people on the list. I mean, I was excited because I figured he was going to have a crazy game last night, and it totally came true. But it just that's not that's, that shouldn't happen to quote unquote motivate a 40 point game. He should be on at least one of these teams. And I don't, I don't really get it. Um, his mindset, however, he did share some thoughts after this one uh, and after the snub. Here he is. Was there any uh, motivation for you um, after hearing that you didn't make an All-NBA team? No, I want to say that. What would you say? 
I mean, we two games from the from the finals, so you know, honestly, I don't got the time to give a. <laughs> well, to be fair, he did make it last year, and he ended up getting the Super Bowl. Anyway, so the year the that he fuck? didn't get it Dang is the no, year that. But he's he's uh, he's obviously upset, and yeah. he should be. Like the Boston it's... Celtics have been one of the best teams all. They've been the best team all year, and for whatever yeah. reason, we're still trying to find something wrong with this Boston Celtics team, and they're only doing everything that they're supposed to be doing. But it's they're not up... just they're the best. He's also a lot of the times the best player on yeah, the best they're, team. They're ten and two. They're nine and two in the postseason like... now. Ten and two in the postseason at this point. Like, sense. and we're still trying to say, well, they're boring. They're not doing this, and they're not doing that. And a lot of that, he deserves credit for the way that this team is playing. So for for these voters to completely overlook that, like, what is the message that we're sending? Is, what is this it. about? Is it about numbers? Because, again, a lot of these guys that are on these teams didn't have successful years when it came to their teams. So when you're all NBA team, for me, that should translate to winning. And you said that it doesn't translate um, when you're a rookie. Well, when does it translate? Because at this point, it's all over the place. Yeah. Does winning matter anymore? Yeah, this it has to matter. The lady said, what, what would you what say? What would you say? <laughs> As a follow-up from the back yeah, row. Crazy. It's incredible. I mean, uh, fair. Yeah, I get, and also, like, at the end of the day, he did get his super max already. He's already paid. But this is a respect thing. This is, you want to be seen. You want to be heard. Like, and, and he deserves that. So he knows he got stuff. He also knows there is a bigger picture. There's, he's <laughs> playing for a championship. At the end of the day, who cares if you were third team All-NBA or not? Like, at the, at the end. But... He's respond. He's mature enough. He's he's you know he's old enough to know <laughs> there's something bigger than me. this. Yeah, like clearly, when you say I don't give a fuck, <laughs> you give a fuck. <laughs> Sorry for two fuck bombs. Got, that, that's three. That's what are you one. doing? Yeah, what but, are you doing? Shams, I, I agree with them. You can give somebody all the money in the world, but you still want to be recognized uh, for what you do out there. And so yeah, yeah. his mindset one is one of the what? best players in the game. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. on. I, I remember when he signed his Supermax contract, five years, $304 million, and the whole sentiment around the league uh, was surprised, right? When you think about uh, from the public perception, is Jalen Brown the highest paid player, player in NBA history? And I remember the conversations he had with the Celtics was, I don't just want this contract and be the same player, just improve incrementally. I want to take multiple more steps. I want to be the best player in the world. Like, that's his goal. That's what he, he really strives to be every single day. So he didn't just sign the contract and say, I'm just going to rest on this. Um, he told the Celtics, my best days are ahead. Obviously, they believed in him. They gave him that contract. And he won't say it, but of course he feels like he's one of the top 15 players in the NBA. When you think about Team USA, if, they, if there is going to be a need for a re replacement, you, you want to look at a guy like Jalen Brown because he's earned that as being one of the best players in the league. I mean, he's statistically been their best player in this That's series. What I'm saying. Arguably one of the best players in the playoffs in general, uh, especially for the Celtics. And to me, another factor is the, the aspect of him and Jason Tatum, how they coexist. They're not hugging each other after every game like Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic do. But the amount of mutual right, respect right. there is between those two players, I, I did an interview with Jalen Brown last year, and what he told me is, like, I want him to do well. He wants me to do well. That understanding is all those two need. So do you huh. think he's capping? Is he capping? Um, is that... I think he's. I think he's capping about the That's part where it. he doesn't care. I, I think he's. I think he's visibly upset. He also showed poise. He also showed that you know I'm still locked in on the goal. This is a team game, but at the end of the day, y'all got me messed up. Is there a world in which he one day wakes up and goes, "I'm sick and tired of playing second field to dude who I think I'm better than"? No. Uh, no, because they're going. They're winning at an elite level, and they're going to the finals. They're going to these kind of like they're playing deep into the postseason every single mm. year. So a lot of guys think the grass is always greener. Let me go be the guy, and it's hard when the We've when the it. scouting report then shifts to you, and you're the focus, and you're getting blitz, and you're getting double teamed. The best defender is guarding you, not Jason Tatum. It, it's way harder. So I think they have a perfect thing going on together. They're winning at an elite level. If they happen to get a championship this year, it's only going to get bigger. And what he's if he's the MVP of the final? Great. I, I think I would hope Jason Tatum would be happy for him because he has carried the load already this season. He's been great. And the Boston Celtics would not be where they are without Jalen Brown.